This question is taken from the Enger 2020 Section 2 paper, and it is question 18. So we read, stress in a steel cable is increased, then kept at a constant value of 8 times 10 to the 8 pascals. The wire does not reach its limit of proportionality. The steel properties are the length is 4 meters, the cross-sectional area is 2 times 10 to the minus 4 meters squared, and its young modulus is 2 times 10 to the 11 pascal. How much work was done to stretch the cable? So given the, given the value of a young modulus and cross-section area and length, we know that this must relate to the young modulus topic. And the, the work done in relation to this young modulus topic is the area under a stress strain graph. So the work done per unit volume is the area under the stress strain graph. So how do we get this to the work done? Well, we just need to multiply by the volume. And they've given us the dimensions of the cable, so cross-sectional area and length. So we just need to multiply by this volume. But what is the area under the stress strain graph? Well, this would be a half times stress times strain. And then we're not given the strain. So how can we relate this to what we are given? Well, the strain will just be the stress divided by the young modulus because of the relationship that you should know. Young modulus is stress divided by strain. So this becomes half times sigma squared divided by y. So we have an expression for the strain energy per unit volume or the work done per unit volume. These are the same thing. So like we said, now we just need to multiply by the, by the volume, which is the cross-sectional area times length. We get work done is half times sigma squared over y times a times l. So if we substitute our values in that we have on here, we get 8 squared times 10 to the 16 times 2 times 10 to the minus 4 times 4. So this is the volume part divided by 2 times the Young modulus. So what cancellations could we do in order to make this a lot easier to deal with? Well, 10 to the 16 divided by 10 to the 11 is 10 to the 5, and then there's 10 to the minus 4, so we only have one power of 10 left. Then we have an 8 squared and a 2. So from this, we get 64 times 2 times 10. So this is 1,280 joules. But the question gives answers in kilojoules, so we have to write this as 1.28 kilojoules.